After a rise of almost 14% in the S&P 500 during October and November, equity markets reversed course in December as investors became increasingly concerned about the effects of continued hawkishness from the Federal Reserve, particularly impacting the underlying economy after a 50 basis point rate rise was delivered in mid-December. With inflation now sequentially declining, the focus shifted towards the impact on the economy, corporate earnings and the potential for a policy mistake in too many rate hikes. From a fund perspective for December, the Monroe Global Growth Fund and MAET.ASX returned negative 3.2% for the quarter. The Monroe Concentrated Global Growth Fund returned 1% and MCGG.ASX returned 1.2%, while the MSCI World X Australia Index returned 4%. Monroe Climate Change Leaders Fund and MCCL.ASX returned negative 1.4%, while the MSCI All Country World Index in Australian dollars returned 4.1%. Throughout 2022, we noted three criteria that needed to play out before we could get more constructive on markets. Those key signposts being long-term interest rates to peak, earnings estimates to come down, and time. While two of these three factors have likely occurred, being interest rates have probably peaked and we are past the average duration of a bear market, the outlook for 2023 is more contingent on earnings estimates, which to date have remained stubbornly high. For Munro, this is the last shoe to drop. We do expect the Q4 earnings season to lead to downward earnings revisions as companies are more likely to guide conservatively for 2023. Our biggest concern here is that the market level today does not price in any possibility of hard landing for growth and appears to be fully priced under a mild slowdown scenario, meaning we are not comfortable with the risk reward entering a period where companies need to set a full year guidance. Should earnings estimates begin to reset over the first quarter, then we'll be much closer to removing any further macro overhangs from our outlook and stocks can go back to what they do best, which is following their earnings growth. In conclusion, we are positive about the year ahead. While volatility may continue in the first quarter, we're getting closer to the overall market adequately pricing in this COVID-induced macro adjustment. With interest rates peaking at still historically low levels and earnings estimates likely to be rebased, this will ultimately set up markets for their next bull run. With the down cycle played out, individual share prices will go back to following their earnings growth, which is what they have always done. Structural changes in how we decarbonize the planet Cure diseases, shop and drive AI will ultimately become the key drivers of earning growth and that earnings growth will drive share prices. We remain excited about the opportunities presenting themselves out of this recent adjustment and remain patient as the final phase of this adjustment plays out. Thank you.